Hello, it's Alexander from Galileo Sky. In the previous two videos we were talking about FMS, J1939 and J1979 standard protocols. You learned how to configure the device to work with these protocols. Now I'll show you how to search and parse CAN bus parameters if car manufacturers use its own data transfer protocol. Let's start with the simplest example. Let's find out a parameter that contains information about doors position in the car. It controls whether they are closed or opened. Let's go! At Nissan Note 2012, we'll show you the entire process, from connected to CAN to data parsing. First of all, define where to connect to the CAN bus. To do this, open the vehicle owner manual or browse it in the net. In Nissan Note, the diagnostic connector is on the left under the steering wheel. As you remember, the CAN bus consists of two wires CAN H and CAN L. To do this, you can use either Galileo Sky OBD2 to plug in the connector or any other Galileo Sky 7X unit with 24 pin connector to OBD2 adapter. So we connected the unit to the CAN bus. Now we need to supply external power to the device. Let's use the vehicle's onboard network. And now move on to unit configuring. Don't forget that the CAN bus must be active to receive data. If the car is parked and the engine is turned off, just switch the ignition on. This will wake the bus from the sleeping mode. Open the configurator. In settings, go to the CAN scanner tab. Now set the bus speed. In our case, it is 500,000. Set custom filter as filter type. Then press Start receiving button. The screen depicts CAN messages. This means that we connected and configured the device correctly. Before we get down to data parsing, let me tell you of CAN scanner tips and functions, which will help you work faster. Here is a simple rule. The more important the parameter is, the higher you can find it in the ID list. For example, the engine. RPM data is a very important parameter. Therefore, the required ID must be likely to be at the first lines. It is also important how data is presented in CAN. It can look real values or be with a coefficient. For example, fuel is in liters or percents, the temperature is in degrees, but with a coefficient minus 40, for example. To calculate, select one or several bytes and do math in the, in the formula field. In our case, with the temperature, subtract minus 40. Thus, you can get the correct value. Moreover, data can be transmitted in discrete form that is 0 or 1. For example, when we open or close the door, the bit changes its value from 0 to 1 and vice versa. Most often, uh, 1 and 0 are used for parameters that can make only two values. So, to search data about doors, turn the engine and headlights off. Don't use other car electronics to narrow the search area as much as possible. It allows not to distract on data from different sensors. Now, let's open and close the door to see how ID change in the CAN scanner. The required parameters will be highlighted in red color. Have a look at the screen. Parameters are highlighted in red. We don't need some of them, because they are changed when we are not affecting the car. So, cut them off. To do this, mark and ignore them while scanning. You can also narrow the list of possible parameters by changing the minimal highlight period move the slider and cut the rapidly changing parameters off. Now they are not highlighted in red. Now open and close the doors according to set highlight period and try to determine the needed parameter. It looks like in 60D identificator the third bit in the first byte is changing from 0 to 1. 1 when door is opened and 0 when the door is closed. Let's check again to make sure. All right, we found the driver's side position door data. Now let's try to find data about remaining doors. This won't be difficult, as such parameters are most likely to be somewhere nearby. Open and close the passenger door. It looks like information is transmitted in the 60D ID in the fourth bit of the first byte. This bit is the nearest to the driver's door speed. So let's assume that this byte transmits information about all doors in the car. Now check in other doors. Rear right door is the 60th bit of the first byte in the 60D ID. Rear left door, 5th bit of the first byte in the same ID. We found the parameters that contain data about door's position. All of them are in several adjacent bits of the same ID. 
in order to transfer the received data to monitoring software, you need to select the byte and tick the protocol tag where it should be written. As you remember, you can transfer at least one byte, so we choose a whole byte and select the needed tag. Next, mark the selected tag on the protocol tab to transfer data to monitoring software server. Now, check if information is being received correctly. If everything is clear, then the task is completed. We found the transmitted CAN bus data about DOORS position. In the next video, I'll show you how to search for RPM data in the CAN bus. Goodbye, see you!